Hello, welcome to another module in this uh, massive open online course, Principles of CDMA, uh, MIMO, OFDM, Wireless Communication Systems. And uh, what we are going to do today in this module is to basically go through the evaluation of the exact bit rate expression for a wireless communication system. Remember in the previous module, we had stopped short of the complete derivation. What we said was we have to evaluate the average, this bit rate expression Q of square root of A square times uh, SNR with respect to the distribution of the amplitude of the fading channel coefficient A that is given by the relay density 2A e power minus A square. So, this integral that is the average beta rate this uh, we have got gone through the derivation of this to derive the final expression in the previous module. So, that is something that we are going to do in the module today that is to evaluate the exact expression for the bit error rate. So, we are going to derive exact beta rate expression for a or of a exact beta rate expression for a wireless communication system. And we have already seen that the average beta rate is given as the integral 0 to infinity q of square root of a square s n r times 2 a e to the power of minus a square d a. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to substitute this s n r by the symbol mu and therefore, I can write this quantity as 0 to infinity q of square root of a square times mu 2 a e to the power of minus a square d a. And now, we know that the expression for the q function, we know that q of v equals integral v to infinity 1 over square root of 2 pi e raise to minus t square by 2 d t that is q of v for the argument v is given as integral v to infinity 1 over square root of 2 pi e raise to minus t square by 2 d t. If I substitute that q function here, I will get the bit error rate equals basically 0 to infinity square root of a square mu to infinity 1 over square root of 2 pi e to the power of minus t square by 2 d t times 2 a e to the power of minus a square d 2 to the power of minus a square d a, where this inner integral if you look at it this inner integral is with respect to inner integral is with respect to t and the outer integral is with respect to the outer integral is with respect to the quantity a right so this is a double integral the inner integral is with respect to the quantity t outer integral is respect to the amplitude of the fading channel coefficient a now i am going to use the substitution t divided by a square root of mu equals u which also gives me d of t equals a square root of mu times d of u. Therefore, substituting this my bit error rate expression now reduces to integral well 0 to infinity. If when t is equal to a square root of mu, u is equal to t divided by a square root of mu, that is a square root of mu divided by a square root of mu. So, the t u is equal to 1. When t is equal to infinity, t divided by a square root of mu is also infinity. So, therefore, the integral limits are now changed to 1 to infinity. 1 divided by square root of 2 pi e raise to minus. Now, t is u a square root of mu. So, this is 
minus u square a square mu divided by 2 times. Now, we have d t, d t is a square root of mu times d u times 2 a e raise to minus a square d a. So, now I have this modification using the substitution t divided by a square root of mu is equal to u. I have this modified double integral. Now, I am going to have, I have two terms with minus with a square in the exponent. I am going to combine these two terms as bitter rate or the average bitter rate is equal to is equal to, I am going to bring square root of mu out, square root of mu if I bring out 0 to infinity, 1 to infinity to a square by square root of 2 pi times e raise to minus a square divided by 2, 2 plus mu u square times d a times d uh, d a times times uh, d u times d a. And now, what I am going to do is further, what I am going to do now is I am going to change the order of these two integrals. Remember here, if you look at this, I have the inner integral with respect to u and the outer integral with respect to a. I am going to change the order of these integrals and therefore, now what I am going to have is I am going to bring the integral with respect to u outside. I am going to take the integral with respect to a inside. I have 2 a square divided by square root of 2 pi e raise to minus a square by 2, 2 plus mu u square d a d mu and now therefore, I have the inner integral with respect to a and I have the outer integral with respect to mu. Okay. Right. So, now I have the double integral, I have changed the order of the integral, reverse the order of integration. So, I have the inner integral with respect to a and the outer integral with respect to uh, with respect to u. Correct. And now, what I am going to do is I am going to first evaluate the inner integral. I am going to evaluate the inner integral, which is basically 2 a square divided by square root of 2 pi e to the power of minus a square by 2 times 2 plus mu u square d a from 0 to infinity. Now, if you look at this, let us look at the following result. For a Gaussian, we have the following result. For a Gaussian distribution, we have t square divided by 2 pi sigma square integral minus infinity to infinity e raise to minus t square divided by 2 sigma square d t. Now, this quantity, this is simply an evaluation of the variance of the Gaussian distribution of the 0 mean Gaussian random variable with mean 0 and variance sigma square. So, therefore, this is equal to sigma square. And now, you look at this, this is integral involves t square. So, it is symmetric for minus t and that is for negative values and positive values. So, this implies this is twice the integral 0 to infinity t square divided by square root of 2 pi, bring the sigma out e raise to minus t square divided by 2 sigma square d t equals sigma square. And now, this sigma is a constant. So, I can move it from the denominator on the left to the right and therefore, I will have integral 0 to infinity 2 t square divided by square root of 2 pi e raise to minus t square divided by 2 sigma square d t equals sigma cube. And therefore, this is the result I am going to now employ to simplify. Now, look at this, I have an integral 2 a square divided by square root of 2 pi e raise to minus a square by 2. 
And if you look at compare these two integrals, compare these two integrals, you can see the integral on the top is equal to the integral on the bottom. All I have to do is I have to substitute sigma square equals uh, sigma square equals basically 1 over 2 plus mu u square or basically what we have is 1 over sigma square equals 2 plus mu u square. Therefore, this integral is equal to sigma cube sigma cube which is equal to 1 over 2 plus mu u square raised to the power of 3 by raised to the power of 3 by 2. So, therefore, inner integral with respect to a is equal to 1 over 1 over 2 plus mu u square raised to the power of 3 by 2. That is the inner integral with respect to a. Now, let us evaluate the outer integral with respect to u. So, now I have bit error rate is given by the outer integral which is integral 1 to infinity square root of mu times 1 over 2 plus mu u square raised to the power of 3 by 2 d u. And now, I am going to use the substitution u is equal to square root of 2 by mu tan of theta. Now, therefore, when u equals 1, I have theta equals tan inverse square root of mu by 2. When u equals infinity, theta is equal to tan inverse infinity, tan inverse infinity equals pi by 2. So, the limits of this integral become, so the limits of this integral become, this is an integral from tan inverse square root of mu by 2 to pi by 2 of 1 over. Now, I am going to substitute u equals square root of 2 over mu tan theta, which when I substitute this, it becomes 2 plus mu u square, which becomes 2 plus twice tan square theta uh, raised to the power of 3 by 2. Also, you can see from here, if d u is equal to square root of 2 by mu tan theta, then d mu d u is equal to square root of 2 by mu secant square theta d theta. So, I am going to write this as square root of 2 by mu secant square theta d, d theta. And now, when I simplify this integral, I have this bit error rate is basically equal to square root of mu tan inverse square root of mu over 2 to pi by 2 1 over 2 plus 2 tan square theta 3 by 2 raised to the power of 3 by 2 2 by mu square root of 2 by mu secant square theta d theta. And now, you can see the square root of mu cancels and therefore, what I have is tan inverse square root of mu by 2 to the power of rate, uh, 2 pi by 2 square root of 2 divided by 2 raised to 3 by 2 times 1 over secant cube theta times secant square theta d theta, which is equal to half. Now, secant square theta in the numerator, secant cube theta in the denominator that cancels and what you will remain, what will remain is 1 over secant theta, which is nothing but cosine of theta. So, it is half integral tan inverse, integral from tan inverse mu over 2 to pi by 2 
cosine of theta d theta, but integral of cosine of theta is sin theta. So, this is half of sin of theta evaluated between the limits tan inverse square root of mu over 2 to pi by 2 and therefore, what I will get is now beta rate is equal to half sin of pi by 2 which is 1 minus sin of tan inverse of square root of mu divided by 2. Now, we are going to use the identity, we are going to use a trigonometric identity that is sin of theta equals square root of tan square of theta divided by 1 plus tan square of theta. Therefore, sin of tan inverse square root of mu by 2 is equal to square root of tan square tan square of is equal to square root of tan square of tan inverse square root of mu by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square of tan inverse square root of mu by 2, which is equal to square root of tan square of tan inverse mu by uh, square root of mu by 2 is simply mu by 2 divided by 1 plus mu by 2, which is nothing but square root of mu divided by 2 plus mu. And remember, our mu is nothing but a substitution for SNR. Therefore, the average bitter rate is now substituting mu is equal to substituting back mu is equal to SNR. I get the bitter rate equals half 1 minus square root of SNR divided by 2 over SNR. And if you remember, this is the exact expression that we had previously, that is the average bitter rate is half 1 minus square root of SNR divided by 2 plus SNR. Therefore, what we have done is now we have evaluated this integral, we have gone through the detailed derivation of this bitter rate expression to derive the relation that the bitter rate in a wireless communication system, the average bitter rate, which is average with respect to the distribution of the amplitude of the fading channel coefficient a is given as half times 1 minus square root of SNR over 2 plus SNR. Therefore, our bitter rate, our bitter rate in the wireless communication system is half times 1 minus square root of SNR divided by the beta rate of the wireless communication system is half square root 1 minus square root of SNR divided by uh, 2 plus SNR. This is the expression for the beta rate. This is the expression for the average beta rate. Mind you, this is the average beta rate. bitter rate for BPSK, BPSK transmission in relay fading. The nature of the fading is also important, relay fading wireless, this is the bitter, average bitter rate this is the formula for the average bitter rate for BPSK modulation in a relay fading wireless channel. And what we have done is we have derived the exact expression for this bitter rate. So, this module we will stop this module here and we will continue with other topics in the subsequent modules. Thank you very much.